Hi all, I'm Ian and I'm an engineer at Warp. Hey, I'm Jess, I'm Warp's developer advocate. This quarter has been one of the busiest in Warp's history. We've made improvements to our AI features, our UI, and our performance. You can create agent props to do pretty much any coding, integration, or automation task. For example, I can type out a prompt in natural language to connect my Superbase database from the command line. It'll download the relevant packages, prompt me for extra information like database name and credentials, and write and run scripts to set up the connection. Once it's connected, I can ask Warp questions like, tell me what tables I have in my Superbase database. The possibilities are endless. You can use agent mode prompts to have AI review a code diff, add captions to a YouTube video using Whisper AI, or even generate a diagram to explain a task that Warp just did. Now, agent prompts are too good to keep all to yourself. Once you're ready to share your prompt, you can parameterize things like credentials, URLs, or tool names, and then share the link out with your teammates and community. We created a repo called warp.dev slash do things, where you can see all the agent prompts that the Warp team uses on a daily basis. I highly encourage you add your agent prompts there or leave a comment on this video with all your ideas. Now, Warp is getting a lot smarter with knowledge and code basis context. With knowledge, you can save rules that inform future responses. These rules can range from remembering what tools you use for a task, what libraries you have installed already, and how your dev environment is set up. Um, Ian, didn't you create this pretty funny rule yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I actually created a rule that yassified Warp for me. Look at the response that Warp gives when I ask it to fetch my PR comments. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Codebase's context enables metadata like file names, languages, and directory structures to be indexed and used in agent queries. For example, I can ask Warp things like, what is the deployment pipeline for this project, and what tools and dependencies are being used. And to protect your privacy and data, we want to be clear that no code is ever stored in our servers. And you can always disable this and our other AI features in our settings panel. Should we speed run the rest? Let's do it. All right. We listened to your feedback on X and made the update Warp UI less intrusive. You can now choose from a curated set of icons and customize your dock icon on Mac. Warp is now leveraging new data structures that are 20 times more space efficient, meaning that Warp uses 20% less memory on average. And finally, Warp recently launched on Windows, meaning that we are available now on all major platforms. Woo! <laughs> We're so excited for you to try out these features and sincerely hope that they improve your day-to-day -day developer workflow and bring some fun back into coding and building. And believe it or not, our plans for our next update are even bigger. So that's it for today. Uh, keep an eye out for the next update, and until then, happy coding. <laughs>